hi and welcome to my channel. So Claire, you can join me today and I just felt it would be a good and appropriate time to start thinking about making some Christmas cards because we're already part of the way through October and before we know it, it will be too late. So I'm going to be showing you today what you can do with either a napkin or a gorgeous piece of Christmas wrapping paper. And this is tissue paper that I have and as you can see it's got quite a lot of different elements which one could actually use. Don't worry about the fact that it's a little bit crinkled, that's absolutely fine. But um, you can see it's got all sorts of wording, it's got writing, it's got bells, it's got music notes, it's got reeds. So out of one sheet of tissue paper, one could imagine getting a lot of cards and equally if you were working with a napkin you would probably get a minimum of four cards if not a few more depending on the size of the card that you're working with. So I have taken a glue stick which is a, just a, a regular glue stick and I have stuck a piece of my, um, I used a napkin on this particular one, I stuck that down onto a piece of white card. Bear in mind that napkins and the uh, tissue paper are very very transparent so it wouldn't work with a very dark colour. And on the back of this, I have just got some double-sided tape. And the double-sided tape is great because it's sticky on two sides. So I'm now going to take my double-sided tape and I'm going to do two things. I'm going to add an element to my card and I'm going to stick this down onto another background color. And the element that I'm going to be adding is a little angel because ultimately I'm going to decorate the front of this napkin and the angel is going to be the focal point. So this is just one of these little metal charms that you get, rather sweet little thing, and this is some 4 mm, four mm double-sided satin ribbon. Now I don't want to tie a knot or a bow on this, I want it just to rather hang easily. So I've just threaded that over, and I'm wanting it to be roughly center, but in a landscape format. So I'm now going to take that and stick it onto the double-sided tape which was at the back, and I'm now going to stick a second piece over that so that it is really nice and secured. I'm doing this so that I don't have to use um, any wet glue on the back of the card and also that I can make sure that it is well and truly bonded down with the background. So I'm going to just peel this up now. And the secret if you've got double-sided tape and it's not peeling up easily is just rub down the corners really, really well. And if needs be, just pick up your craft knife and use that corner um, or your blade to be able to lift it. So now when I turn this over, so I want to get the ribbon orientated correctly, I have a little angel and I'm going to be sticking this down onto a piece of gold card. Sorry, I just want to move these embellishments out the way. Whoopsie, pearls everywhere. So I'm just going to center that and that will just give a little bit of detail to my card. My angel is still hanging freely, which is what I actually want. And you will see that on the back of this, I have again put double-sided tape. I've got to admit it's my all-time favorite for card making because I don't get sticky fingers and I don't get blobs of glue in the wrong place. So it's easy to control what you are doing. And for me, that's a plus. I can actually get a little bit messy when I work sometimes. And uh, this is great. You can get um, double-sided tape in different widths as well, which makes it very, very user-friendly if you're wanting to do big surfaces or small surfaces and even if you're doing something heavy you would be able to get a wide um, roll of tape that you could do. So here we go, having peeled all of that off I've now got my layering correctly and I'm just going to position that on my card. And then what I have pre-prepared because I needed them to be dry was I had some of these hologram stars and I took a little sequin and I glued that just with a drop of craft glue and then on top of that I glued a little pearl. So I needed all of that to be dry before I could handle it and I worked on a plastic sleeve because now I know that it will be easy to pick up and my intention is, is to take these stars and position them around the angel almost as if it was a little wreath of some sort. So this was my idea. I'm just at the moment using stars just to place them more or less in the position where I'd like to have them. Yeah, oh, I think that will do. And now I'm going to take my glue which is a little bottle with a nozzle and just one by one put some glue just in this middle part at the back. I don't want it all over the place because I don't want it to come squishing out 
And you can see quite easily now why I've pre-prepared this, because it's much easier to handle the embellishment as a whole than to try and do lots of little things at this particular point in time. I love the fact that these little stars with the pearls in the sequin give it a sort of a three-dimensional look. And obviously you would have your own ideas as to how you'd be able to, to decorate this. Um, but it's just really starting off with a very simple background. And if your serviette or your tissue paper is slightly creased, just bear in mind that once you emboss them, that you really won't even notice that there was a crease there at all. Oopsie, this one's not so easy to pick up. And it's the last one, isn't that always the case? Right, so there's my little wreath. And it's just a very simple card. I'm not a fancy card maker. But I love the way the stars catch the light. I love my little angel that I've got there. And I'm very happy with that. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you feel inspired to get on with doing your projects. And if you have enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel so that you will get the latest videos as I release them. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you spending time together. Bye.